Okay. So welcome to those who just joined us. I was just asking who has done energy healing before. Uh, I see there is one, one, two others. You haven't. Okay. I'll just do a quick education and then we get to the healing. So basically it's meditation that we're going to do as well. And because we are spiritual beings, all of us, we are amazing people. We are our own prophets. Whew. Does everyone hear me? So I'm trying to put the mic on my on my mouth. Is it still not audible? Okay, so I'll hold the mic towards my mouth throughout. Okay. So welcome. And to those who just joined us, just bring a glass of water. Have tissues next to you because sometimes when we do the meditation, you might be emotional and don't hold on. You just need to release. That's why you are here. Everyone is here to stand in the gap for you and for you to be better. Okay, we do as in done. Please increase the volume. <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. Uh, let me try this other mic. Okay, mm -hmm. let me just try. Okay, so welcome, welcome. So welcome to this session. So basically, energy healing. You have somebody's drawing. I don't know who's doing that. Didi. So Healing happens all the time. It is a continuous process. Like even when you pray, you ask God to, to heal you. So it's a continuous process. Even when we are asleep, our body heals as well. That is, and every day we are dying, another part of us dies, and we are growing. So it, it, it works both ways. So it's a process of slowly letting go of what you believe is true and discovering what is actually true so you can be real with with yourself and at times most of us we are so scared to heal and it's important that we heal emotionally physically spiritually and mentally we are always on the lookout of healing the physical we are so scared of healing the the spiritual because we are mind body and spirit Okay, Kirumang hasn't. So we are mind, body, and spirit. Basically, we are 95% spirit, and we are 5% body. So even if you were to leave this earth, your soul will continue evolving to different realms as well. So, so you might say, no, I'm not healing. You are healing, it depending on your thoughts and what you're doing as well. I'll just do this quickly. So what does healing mean? It means saying no when you need to say no. That is part of healing. It's saying yes when you need to say yes. Because it means if you say yes and you're supposed to say no, there's something within you that you need to heal. It could be your father wound, your mother wound, or your childhood wounds based on how you were raised from, from birth. And some of it could be generational traumas that you are not aware of. And it's letting go of the mask. And I'm a Capricorn and people when they see me, they just see this woman who's so scary at times. And <laughs> when you start talking to me, I'm not what you think most of the time. And when we start having that conversation, go like, wow. So it's all about letting go of the mask. And at times I'm grateful for the mask because it helps me in so many situations to get away from situations where I don't want to participate. So I'll give that look and, <laughs> and I get away with it. So it's being yourself at all times and based on how you were raised, you might be someone who's so scared, who's worried about what the James are saying, what are the John, what is Mapule saying, what is Mashudu saying. So it's all about being yourself at all times. And then it's letting go of the need to control everything. Yeah, being a firstborn, I'm not sure how many firstborns are here. It's our natural gift to try to control everything as well. And <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> so I'm at a stage where I'm healing to let go. So I even ask myself, do I have control over the situation? 
and <laughs> okay come as well as i choose the first part so so i ask myself i've learned that i need to ask myself to have control Capricorn and first bonds are here. Yes, that's me and Manta. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who's another Capricorn. We are control freaks. <laughs> so I asked myself, I had to learn to be conscious because being a first born, it comes with that natural leader, wanting to take care of everyone and forgetting yourself. So I asked myself, do I have control over this or not? Yo, there are so many Capricorns here, Libras. So that is important. You need to have that conversation with yourself. It's to being real to yourself, being honest. It's very important. And forgiving yourself and others. So I should have said uh, yourself as well, but it's important you forgive yourself because you cannot give uh, from a place of lack. It starts with you. If you are a person who read the Bible, it says, love your, your neighbor as you love yourself. And that also means forgiving yourself as well. Then it's easier to forgive them. But we've been programmed that we need to forgive others and forget to forgive ourselves. And we become our worst nightmare in our lives. So it's doing the right thing. You won't always do the right thing. That's why a human being, that's why we chose this experience as well. So it's important. That is basically what healing means. And then I just want to share. I see, it, yo, there are a lot of first bonds in this session. I'm the fourth one more controlling than the <laughs> first born sister. Yes, let's see also. Yes, but also you need to take care of yourself. You need to take care of yourself. And also when we start to heal, we expect everyone around us to heal. And it's not your duty to force people. And welcome to those who just came. Just bring a glass of water if you have just joined us. So we do your healing your healing because you carry generations you carry ancestors within your dna within your womb you are so powerful just do it for yourself and you see because we've got energetic cords which i'm just going to show the slide that we have so when you start healing and you cut those cords your life gets much better as well so throughout this session it's important that is why you have certain intention to heal and once you've done that, you're going to feel magic because God, angels, because all of us, we've got angels who surround us. We've got guardian angels who are always protecting us. You have been through wars, through situations which you are not aware of. Some, are some of them you are aware of and you go like, how did I survive that? Because of those who you work with. That is why it's always said, don't mess with people because you don't know who they work with. We go, we walk around with that divine with that divination within ourselves. So set the intention to heal today and give yourself permission to heal. We don't do this often because we are so scared to heal because when you heal, you it's like the onion. Since I can't use both my hands because of this, so it's like the onion. As you heal, you remove the layers and you start crying. That is why I say brought tish bring tissues as well because you need to purge, you need to purge and stop making yourself self sick. Because if you don't heal and you're forever thinking, worrying, you create what you call disease, which are disease. So this is the point where your body is talking to you and says, you have been ignoring the intuition and the signs of saying, take time and heal. So now we're gonna make you sick. We're gonna make you go find someone to heal so that you take care of yourself. But if we start listening to the symptoms as they start, we are able to heal ourselves. We're able to heal ourselves. If you've got a book by Louise Hayes, it shows you, like if you've got a pain somewhere, like let's say your lower back has issues with money, not, not being supported, and then in your tummy and your gut, it's all the emotions, the negative, the doubt, the fear, the shoulders is you being basically first bonds when normally most people have got issues with their shoulders because of lack of support because now we want to save everyone and we forget that we are not God. Everyone has got God and they are guides and their ancestors that support them. And till now we want to take that role as if we somebody says take it because it just naturally comes in. So it's important. Give yourself permission to heal and be open and receiving the healing so that is quite critical 
And why don't we heal? Fear of who will be when healed, because you become somebody else, like myself daily. I'm dying, because I'm forever healing myself, my emotions, and I'll continue healing until the day I die, because we are not perfect human beings. And people, when they see me, they see this. Per I'm not perfect. Remember, all of us are imperfect. That is why when someone does something, is to have that compassion and be able to understand that we are not all perfect provided they have remorse and they apologize and if they don't you just have to cut them off and move on so that is important and then we're incongruence like we live a double life i think that's the first way they learned in zulu we are incongruence and not letting go healing is part of surrendering acceptance and letting go is critical in terms of you being a better person and then with the work that you're going to do, energy healing, when you come for energy healing, we heal your, your different bodies. It's either your mental body, your emotional body, your etherical, your physical. This is what we have. That is why I said all of us are 95% spirit. So as you walk like those, if you're what we call here, all of us, all of us, we are prophets. We've got what we call the pineal glands. And when a child is born, this part is very open that is why when somebody comes into their house they'll cry because they see the energy they see the aura of that person but when you grow you don't because you start what we call calcining calcining the area or you know and we start putting around our our third eye or our pineal gland so when someone sees this is what we have so you have this body inside. You've got the physical plane, you've got the mental body, the emotional, etherical, and the physical. So that is why we have to continually healing. We have been taught just to look at the physical body by just going to the gym. And we are scared to go to a coach or to a psychologist or a therapist to work on our mental body. And then our emotional, we need to work on our emotions, our anger, our doubt, and all that, and our, our spiritual. This is quite important. And then we've got our astral body, which where the moment you sleep, your body continues. So you still do the work <laughs> at the moment. So when you sleep, your ego sleeps, your body, and then that is why you have got those dreams. But depending on what you eat and your spiritual hygiene, you won't even remember the dreams. So it's quite important you look at your spiritual hygiene and also the spiritual layer. So remember we are 95 percent spirit these are the layers as well so if one comes for a deep one-on-one -on -one, we look at where are the blockages and you get better so this is quite critical let's see i see there's a comment okay Kamal Zibu says being a firstborn has come with a lot which made me feel like i had to take care of my siblings and i'm happy to be <laughs> a, a healing firstborn yes so what you just mentioned, Gamazibugu, it's deep. So it's another session. It's another hour session. Uh, so yeah, so there are things that we need to stop doing. There are lessons that we need to do. And as much as you are taking care of everyone, look at places where you are being God. So start protecting yourself where you are being God. Because all of us in this earth, we've got god we've got our angels we've got our guardian angels there's something that we never taught from a young age even when our creator created the world says let there be light let there be this our guardian angels are waiting for that instruction to 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 be able to make your life better so we need to start changing that communication and getting in touch with our with ourselves with our spirit guides by having that communication by teaching our young kids as well. Like even me, if I were to die tomorrow, my kids know how to take care of themselves. They have to tap to the power that they need. That means speaking to their angels, speaking to God as well. So we need to teach those things. Making sense, we can just type this. So that's another session. So I'm just giving <laughs> an, a quick a quick, uh, a quick explanation. So whatever you do for people, don't do it over based on resentment. 
do it based on love if it's not based on love you're just creating karma over your life and you realize those you are helping their life is getting better yours is deteriorating daily because you are taking also you are stopping them to learn the lesson that their soul asked to learn here on earth so always do whatever it is friends siblings adults we are all we all have got our <laughs> our warriors our um, the people that we work with but do things out of love out of compassion not resentment not because you have to because the moment you do that you are hating yourself you're just carrying burdens which is going to take a long time to heal whilst others are prospering because you are robbing yourself of the greatness that's surrounding you so that is very critical any questions on this slide before i move on Okay, I see there's none. Let's continue. So, so all right, there are people who can read auras. Also, I can read auras. You can say if this person is blue, white. So that's the gift. So look at the gifts that you have, because most of you are all gifted. So all of us are all gifted. So we have got that. So this, you'll get it on the presentation. I just wanted to show you how powerful you are. The world has programmed us to think like, we're just nothing we are powerful beyond beings choosing this life to be a human being in this is a biggest assignment and we have to really honor it it's an honor to be doing this life that is why we have to heal those body parts then you start understanding what your purpose is on this earth you start understanding what the gifts that you have on this earth and then also if we move forward we've got what we call different chakras when you come to me for me i can feel people's energy that is my natural gift so i can feel the pain we might even in this session it doesn't matter where you are because we're energetically connected i'll feel where you're feeling the pain it could be your head your feet and all that and my purpose is to help you to release that and you have to create the intention for you to heal and you've got different chakras and if these are unbalanced your life becomes unbalanced as well we've got the root for me growing up with my those who have attended my session they know my root chakra has been an issue identity issues rejection and all that and i still love red because it reminds me of how far in my healing journey i am so the root chakra is at the base it's on your pelvic area and then it's all about confidence if you don't have confidence you'll have low self-esteem so as you're looking at this just look at this are you someone who's always angry and helpless this means your solar plexus this is in your gut it means it's imbalanced and also are you creative are you feeling stuck it could be in your sick in your sacral chakra which is your womb area that is why we're women we're very powerful beings always remember that you to those who've got kids you bring a life even those who don't have kids there are people who don't have kids but they've got that motherly nature of taking care there are people who don't have kids who pray and make sure this universe is functioning as much as there's chaos it would be worse if they're not there so your sacral chakra if it's blocked it creates issues and it comes back to who you sleep with who you sleep with affects your chakras affect your creativity because some people are there to take and take and take so you need to be careful of who you bring to your space who you bring to your sacred space and also if you've got a close heart that is the green that i love money won't come in you can be the best person in social media advertising your business if your heart is closed money won't come in so you need to heal as well you includes a lot of forgiveness some of it could be generational and then also expressing yourself me myself because i'm a capricorn i grew up in a strict home 
and we couldn't express ourselves so my throat chakra was closed most of the time so I had to learn to express myself heal find someone who can heal me and start doing it it's not easy at, at first when you start doing it but if your throat chakra is closed and you're sacral you are doomed so you really need to work hard that you are creative and you are able to speak up for yourself. People want, they buy the aura that you have, what they see, but you need to speak up for yourself. You need to be able to say no. You say, I don't accept this. I deserve this. But if you don't speak up and you shy away, it's going to be a problem. You'll have heart attacks. You'll have cancer and all of this. So you need to make sure. And then your third eye. As I said, I am calm. This one depending on the hygiene in terms of the food that you eat all of us you can see what is going to happen to you but if you are not strict enough with yourself of your hygiene spiritual what you feed in this will always be blocked up and then the i am peace so for us mostly in the southern hemisphere our crown chakra is open because of going to church and all that depending where it doesn't matter that one is always open but it's the ones which are at the bottom which have an issue so if your root chakra is not if you don't know your foundation as much as your crown chakra you always doubt yourself you always not be able to know where you fit in so that is quite critical any questions on that so that we can start the healing and release So just to illustrate as well the who you are, this is the physical body. You've got this etherical body, the emotional body, the mental, the astral, the light realm. Like if someone, you have experienced someone dying, some people are able to see this astral, that air leaving that body as well. So that is how powerful you are and your connection to source. And as you heal, as you become better, as you learn to forgive, let go and surrender, your consciousness continues and increases. Because at the end of the day, it's about healing and having that unconditional love for self. And then you'll be able to have that unconditional love for others. Because whatever they say won't shake you. When you get to a point where you're not triggered <laughs> by someone, your consciousness is at a higher level and we all strive to be there but life has got its own ups and downs yeah. okay and then just quickly things that impact our aura is us not spending time in our spirituality spirituality basically doesn't matter what religion who you believe in it needs to be at the core it needs to be your foundation and don't be misled by what society is saying, Facebook and whatever. Just believe in what you believe and it will work for you. But you need to have that connection. And why do I mean this? If your spirituality is sound, it doesn't matter what people say about you. It doesn't matter what your partners say about you. It doesn't matter what the kids say about you whether they say bad things but if your your source you know who's your source who is your creator you're able to manage those challenges and those battles and it's quite critical you build that another thing also is parasitic cords what do i mean people you meet whoever you meet they take away your energy that is why when somebody when they get into the room when they are sad you can feel their energy you take it and then when somebody is happy you can feel it and then also chakra blockages affect you. And watches, watches, we've got what we call evil eye. We've got other people, they're not sh aware that they've got evil eye. It comes, it's all about somebody being jealous of you, saying hateful things. So it's, so evil eye is not somebody going to a, a chemical, <laughs> a, a natural chemical engineer witchcraft. It's about the intention and the thought that you send to people as well and energy debris and insufficient grounding so make sure that daily you connect with nature nature is the sun being outside and also having the ground if you've got paving in your house try to have plants around you i think you can see a plant behind me it's called the snake plant it's quite good 
also for purification make sure you have it in all the rooms in your house as well and with modern most people how does sexual mutation help to heal your, <laughs> your chakras so normally when when you sleep with someone remember when you sleep someone i showed you the 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 photo of the different layers so when you sleep with someone when if you are gifted when if you are clean you heal that person because you're going to take away so there is that energy exchange so that is why you have to be careful who you sleep with because you by the time you reach that climax you take their demons you take their commas so also look at your life at the moment people that you sleep with um how was your life before them if your life prospered that's good but if your life deteriorated after that it's not good because there are things that they're doing which you are not aware of also there are those energy vampires there are also those family commas and whatever that you take with so that is why you need to, to make sure your body you take care of your womb it's a sacred area that's why people will men will pay for for just sleeping with you so it's important because you are being depleted so those people you find that if they see that you're clean and when you have been having money things start changing they start having money when now you start suffering and you say god doesn't love you but you are supposed to be aware of your of your hygiene your spiritual so you need to treat yourself like this queen because that is who you are so be selective of who comes into your intimate intimate zone because you'll have to go and cleanse those auras they are commas and so much and so much and then you find people who go to facebook men are this and this but the question and some of it is that you are not aware of but now being here you're gonna be aware you're gonna start choosing how you interact with people and it's not only about sleeping where do you spend time if there are people who take away your energy you need to discard them because they are energy vampires because when they do that you start not being creative you start not being in your papers as well but you need to experience that so that you know who you are you are able to know because you cannot just exclude without being aware but you need to be intentional so be careful who you sleep with that is why nowadays people what they do with with girls in tertiary guys will go to a club and and pay drinks and go and sleep th with them and pay them even 50 grand or a hundred thousand and then after they slept with them they take the sheets because they are taking that feminine in you because we are creators and that child you might find that they don't have kids anymore their life it's doomed and whatever and some also get also kidnapped yeah we've got a family member we don't know where she is because she has been kidnapped because of her, her power so be careful listen to your intuition this world is getting worse day by day because of the power that you have in your womb because of the energy and the gold and the wealth that is within you making sense i'm not scaring you guys Mbali. okay <laughs> see okay making sense so but be careful ladies you are the gold you are the price you are the price choose who you are you need to keep to bring to your life and some might even do what we call chemical engineering bewitching but you'll feel it when they're doing it and there's ways to to cleanse that but be careful who you bring to your space not everyone is thinks about you cares about you but your intuition always guides you never doubt it okay and then just to show you how powerful you are and what we do where we ignore 
like our body speaks to us we get this emotional body mm? we need to start the healing so the neck you are re refusing to see the other side of the question you are being stubborn when are you want to take the pill and every week the neck because you don't want to take those decisions you are so scared the elbows could be you representing change when you don't want to accept the new change and then hips fear of going forward when it comes to taking a major decision why aren't you doing that like for me when i started my spiritual journey it was my knees were locking up because i didn't i was scared of what people would say then i had to learn that my gift is different it's not what we've been told we just heal naturally people it doesn't matter where you are just being in my space you hear that you i had to learn to understand that gift ankles is the inability and inflexibility and feeling guilty so release that release that so today as we do this work create that intention to heal and remember this is a group session and if you need one-on-one -on -one, you can schedule then you can go deeper to understand you on a deeper level as well okay and then also just this is quite important i know people when they've done energy healing they feel amazing because we've removed the blockages they become creative money comes in they do amazing things so remember it's not a magic one to fix everything it uplifts you and gives you energy you need to take action and if you do nothing there's you won't get the results so still need to take action to get things done because we have removed that blockages so it's giving you for the mind to understand is like a red bull but you are so powerful you tap you and you go like why don't i feel like this all the time so it depends on your surrounding it always depletes your energy okay and then if you want to have an individual session those are my they are these are the details you can whatsapp or you can email or so on yeah are we ready are we ready any questions before I start? Morning, coach. Yes, I did uh, post a question there regarding the opening of the pineal gland. As in, what is it exactly that we need to focus on? Is it like any special foods, activities that we need to work on to open our third eye? Yes, you need to eat a lot of, you need to be a vegetarian. Try it for a month. Remove anything that is cooked. Cle wash your, f your veggies and your fruits with bicarbonate of soda. Clean, clean them. Because even if they say there's no pesticides, it's organic. Organic is just to play with our head. But you need to do the due diligence and clean them. And start praying. And there's also breathing exercises that one does as well to open it. But it's for you to tap into that inner power. That is why even when in January people do the Daniel fast to remove all the meat. Because meat has got has got a lot of cortisol, which is related to fear. And also there's iodine there's, that you can take as well. But at a controlled manner, it will start decalcifying as well. But there's a specific breathing that you can do provided your other areas, your other hygienes are taken care of. Okay, anything else? Oh, okay. No, thank you. Anyone else? Making sense? You can show me a thumbs up. Show me a okay, good. Okay, just sit comfortably wherever you are. You might be in bed. If you fall asleep during the session, don't dis don't <laughs> don't worry. If you have got earphones in your ears, still fine. Your subconscious mind will hear me. So, just sit comfortably. Just have a glass of water. Let me change mine. Yes, we are good to go. So just sit comfortably or lie down comfortable and just create that intention to heal. Just create it. 
and then you can also invite those that you believe in god your guides your angels everyone just to be with you to surround you you've got the power to do that so just invite them and you can close your eyes just close your eyes and just take a deep breath in with your nose and breathe out with your mouth another deep breath in with your nose and you breathe out with your mouth another deep breath in and breathe out and just connect with your body listen to your body from your head to your toe and from your toe to your head just connect as you are taking this deep breath breathe like you've never breath had that deep breath before just connect with and understanding the power that you have within you another deep breath in and breathe out just continue to breathe and connect if there's noise if your mind is running away just focus find maybe just focus on your tummy as it's breathing because our mind goes about through about 400 bits per second of data and it might be telling you stories but just find a focal point within your body which will help you to come back just another deep breath in and release it's okay for you to heal it's okay for you to take time for yourself another deep breath in and release another deep breath in and you release whilst you're there just imagine you go to a safe space this is a place where you feel happy where you feel content, where you feel safe. Just imagine that place. It could be in the garden, could be at the mountains, by the river, or in the room that you're in. It can be anywhere. Just feel that place. Just go, allow your mind to go to that place. Feel that love, feel that contentment. Even when you're praying, Imagine you get to that place, put it, just make it as part of your daily routine so that you calm down, you breathe, and you get to that safe space. Just get into that safe space where you feel the love, the calm. You don't have to pretend to be anyone. You just have to be you. And you can feel this magnificent, majestic love that surrounds you can feel God's hand, you can feel your creator, you can feel your angels, you can feel the support that you feel at times and you doubt it. Today this is a safe space that you're in. Just breathe and acknowledge it. Just take another deep breath in and breathe out. As you're there, now I just want you to imagine you go to the beach. Someone will say, I've never been to the beach. Just imagine you're at the beach. You're all by yourself. You're surrounded by birds, butterflies, and the waves are just moving. And you're just sitting down there and listening to the waves and the sound. It's so soothing. It's so soothing. As you are looking at this, just concentrate on this water that you're facing. Feel that because water is calming. Connect. There might be noise in your mind taking you. Just connect, focus, put that water as your focal point. And then now I want you to stand. Imagine you're in this in your swimming suit. You get into the water. Someone would say, I don't know how to swim. As you step into the water, there are dolphins to help you swim. They are surrounding you, walking with you, swimming with you. Just feel that. Just swim to the deep seas. Just swim. And as you are paddling through the water, imagine this water is cleansing out all 
the doubt, the fear, the sadness, the things that you are holding on that you don't want to tell the world. This is the way water brings you purification. We are 78% water and we cannot run away from who we are. So just petal with each petal. You can feel the dolphins just playing around and celebrating and helping you heal. Allow this water body to heal you. J allow it to heal you. Go deeper. Go deeper. And you can even hear the birds out celebrating you doing this. Because you are the queen. You are the price. There's no one like you. The world has been waiting for a day like this. For you to step into your power. Today, it's a day to let go. It's a day to be true to who you are. And release the fear. It's a day to cleanse yourself so that you can shine because fear will never stop you from shining. It's the day to remember that it's never truly the end and you might be going through so much. Just know that everything will be okay. Feel that okayness. Step into that. Feel this water cleansing you deeper and deeper. And some of you might even get visions. It's okay. And some of you will get messages as we're doing this as well. Listen to those messages. You have to hear them. So feel, open your heart. You have been hurt so many times. But you cannot receive when your heart is closed. Just open it. Forgive yourself. And this is swimming. Hug yourself. Embrace the love that you're getting from these dolphins. They're giving you pure love that you've never seen before. And just breathe as you're doing. You might feel overwhelmed. You might feel overwhelmed. Because you don't know the queen that you are. Today you're being reassured. You're the queen. You're the prize. And for you to get the abundance that you have been waiting for, it's all about healing, accepting yourself, and removing judgment. It's about you having this adventurous heart and set sail for this adventure, this trip of a lifetime which is about to embark. You might feel like you've been embarking on life, you haven't. This is where you're starting. The rest were just practice. You need to step to this person, to this queen. Let go of what you've been, forget about those who have had to heal them and release them today. Because you are significant. You are significant. And you have been helping everyone around you because of your heart of compassion. And today, give yourself that compassionate heart. You are the divine, the world that has been waiting for. And as you step to this journey, as you're busy swimming and cleansing, always call on those who walk with you. Call on God, your angels, your guides. You never walk alone. Start taking care of yourself mentally, emotionally. And whatever you put in into your mouth, be mindful so that you can hear the messages. At times you don't hear the warnings, the messages, and you want them to be validated by someone. Today you are being reminded that the answers are within you. Just take a deep breath in and breathe out another deep breath in and breathe out and as you are stepping to this power you might be thinking oh my relationships are not okay 
that might be challenging at the moment. You might be in pain, you didn't sleep the whole night and you have been waiting for this session. But w you are being reminded that you are loved, you are powerful. It's time for you heal, to choose you, choose you, choose you. And just continue swimming and allowing this water body to cleanse you. Allow it. You might be crying, let it out. You have been hurt so many times. And God has been hearing you. Your guides have been hearing you. Just release. Just release and let go. When you release, you are able to step to the power of who you are. You are able to share these hidden gifts that you have within you. Because now is time to get ready to choose your gifts, which you always had, but there have been distractions. Blessings and abundance are awaiting you, but you have to take action and let go and release. Releasing means taking bold decisions. There are cords you need to cut. There are people you need to cut. There are things you need to start doing. There are things you need to continue doing. And just breathe. Take a deep breath in and release another deep breath in and release i want you to go deeper into the sea as you've been swimming you've been encouraged just go deeper as you step there there's this beautiful crown whatever color the color is important whatever note that color of what you see your throne and your crown and your beautiful garment is waiting to be worn by you. It was created specifically around you, only for you, because you are unique. There's no one like you. Always remember that. Don't let the world belittle you. The challenges you've been through has helped you so that it's easier to tap to this kingdom because now you know how to take calculated risks. Now you know how to make bold decisions that are right for you. The cries, the sleepless nights has helped you to be able to step to this queen and understand how you are. It just says here you are never forgotten. So step into that throne, wear your outfit, feel the goddesses and the warriors that are surrounding you, taking care of you. Some might resist because you feel like you're not ready to step, but just monitor, just look and observe what surrounds you in front of you to remind you of the abundance and the gifts. And just continue breathing and just observe. I'll be quiet. Just observe. You might see other gifts. Just take them. Take what you need. And when you're ready, sit on it and feel it. And affirm yourself. I'll give you a minute or two. Just affirm. There might be vibration you're feeling because you're doubting of who you are. Just breathe. Just breathe. You might feel overwhelmed. Breathe it out. You need to cry. Cry it out. This is what you have. Take those gifts. Take at least three of those gifts because that is what you need to come back with when you come back to motherland.
just continue breathing and be gentle with yourself. Hug yourself like never before. And affirm yourself. One of them is that you mention your say name. You say, I love you. Mashidu, I love you. Bali, I love. Just say that. Affirm yourself and anything that comes out. Scream it out. Let the house know who you are. It's okay to be yourself. Be yourself. Remove the mask. Remove the mask. Just take another deep breath in. Tap to that inner power. You are surrounded. You are loved. There is no one like you. Now, after getting those gifts, I want you to stand up and just observe your tribe, the warriors, the people who are there to help you to start this life. And it doesn't mean it won't have challenges, because that's life. But you've got advisors. You've got so much wisdom to be able to overcome anything, but you need to step to your power. You need to step to your spirituality. You need to let go, just let go and release. And just breathe. Might feel overwhelmed, it's okay. And you might get messages, act on those messages. Now come back with your gifts. Come back to shore, swim. The dolphins are jumping. You've got your warriors and your goddesses walking, streaming with you. And then come back to the, to the sand. With each gift that you have there, what is the common theme? What is the big message? Just breathe and ask your higher self, what is the message? What do you need to do? What is one thing that you need to do after this session? It could be a word, it could be a sentence. The word might be scary. The sentence might be scary. Say, why me? Yes, you. It's time to step to the goddess that you are. Take a deep breath in. And release. Another deep breath in. And release. Another deep breath in and release. And then when you're ready, you can just thank God, your angels and your guides throughout this session for being with you. And just take some time. Even one minute, just quick process this. And when you're ready, open your eyes and just breathe. Just 
three, four, 